This guy says a few weeks ago at, at church, the series was called Intertwined. So the pastor had us get out our seats and say hi to someone new. Oh, I used to hate that in church because as an introvert, the worst thing is like, hey, everybody get up and touch somebody else and shake a hand and give a hug and introduce yourself. I still hate that to this day. So anyway, so he says, uh, well, I was approached by a few, a few, and one was a female saying that I looked familiar and what and whatnot. This was a week before Father's Day since uh, we since then. We uh, say hi to each other, but I always see her with a guy. Well, Sunday, we greeted each other and she asked for my number. I actually was going to ask, but she beat me to it. So I texted her when I got home Sunday, about five hours later. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'll continue. Uh, The texting went well. Then I noticed the texting was dying. So I let it be. I can't tell I said something wrong or not. So I didn't text her yesterday. I I didn't text her yesterday. I want to reach out today. By the way, she is single. That guy is part of the staff. So maybe he's trying to get with her, but she did make it clear she was single. She asked if I was single too. Even when she arrived during worship, she got my attention with a subtle back scratch and smile and sat in front of me. I didn't get to ask her to go out for a bite or something because I could tell the texting was dying. And I don't get a big chance to chit chat. So would it be bad to reach out today? Sorry for all the comments. You took out so much. Um, simple answer. Why are you texting her chit chat? I, yeah, I, I'm getting on you because you're, you're, uh, you're clearly, you watch a bunch of my shows. The number of times on this show that I've said the purpose of getting her number is to get dates and nothing else to the point where I'm like, Even if she gave you the number, women are giving you the number because they want to be asked out on dates. They do not give you the number for you to go home and then try to say, hey, so-and-so, and and then try to have a long-standing chit-chat rapport. As you can say, I say on this program all the time that at the end of the day, women do not actually need you to be setting up these long-form texting conversations. And this lady literally just proved it because you said, you told me that... um, You text her about five hours later and then the texting went well and then the texting was dying because she got tired of you texting. And what she was also doing was she was sitting there thinking, oh man, he's texting me. That's so great. Hope he asked me out. Fast forward two hours later. Okay, clearly he's not asking me out. So I'm going to just go ahead and go on and hope and hopefully, hopefully he'll text me to ask for a date because that's why I gave him the number. So for you guys that are new to this program, we are not in the habit of teaching guys over here how to, what kind of magic text to send that's going to make her laugh and build rapport. We're not about the rapport text over here. We're about, we use texting to ask for dates. So what you should do, guy, is reach out to her to ask for a date. You're not asking to ask how her day was. You're not reaching out to say, hey, tell me about what's going on in your life. And do, 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 do. I just saw this show and it's so great. And let's, let me send this, this meme and this video, and this emoji. Your goal for the number is only to ask her for dates. If she wanted to chit chat with you, she would have reached out to you to start that texting conversation. But she gave you the number because she wants you to ask her out. Here's the thing, guy. Women are rarely going to be the ones to ask for dates. The fact that she was bold enough to give you her number, that was that was as bold as a woman's going to get. But that sign for her was her way of saying, hey, dummy, ask me out. And you went home and did not do that. So, we're going we're gonna to forgive that. Hey, she didn't text yesterday because she's not trying to give you the number to text you all day. She wants to meet you in a real capacity outside of the church where you guys can talk in front of each other. She can smell you, laugh with you, experience you in a real way, and then maybe lead to some other stuff. So all that to say, your next move should be hit her up to ask her for a date. Very, very simple. You hit her up. Hey, so-and-so. So um, I wanted to check out this new restaurant and wanted to see if you were free on this day or this day. Let me know which works best for you. And then shut up and wait for her to respond. Do not double text her this. Do not, if she waits a couple hours to get back to you, do not say, or we do something else. Or I'm so sorry. Just send her the invite and wait and she what she says. Now, hey, based on how you text her yesterday, she could not respond or she could be like, oh no, I'm busy, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to bang on the side of hopefully it'll be a thing where she says, oh, man, I'd love to go, blah, 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 blah. So do that and then let us know how that turns out. But please, whether it's this girl or a future girl, when you get the number, 
That is not code for, I want to start a texting chat with you. Texting chats are for online dating when girls legitimately only get to meet you by way of texting. And even then, that should be minimal. Women that you've already met in person, who have already talked to you, who have given you the number, do not need you to do more texting to feel comfortable to go on a date. Ask them on a date now because you already got the number and they already have met you in some capacity. And her giving the number was code for, I'm already comfortable with you. Let's go do some stuff. But you're the guy. I'm leaving it in your hands to know what to do with this number. So know that what you're supposed to do is ask for the date. So hopefully it helps you out. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high class man. You a high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class.